Man, I got the chills up here, man. This is unbelievable. We have six fights on this card that could be a main event on any other card that we've ever done. The biggest event in BKFC history happening right here in Salt Lake City. I'd love to thank our great partners, Bucked Up, Mitt 45, Grunt Style, and so many other partners that we have. Um, I don't want to forget their names. I know that uh, Cyrus announced them, so... Thank you so much to the sponsors, because without you guys, this, this stuff doesn't happen. And really, thank you to the fans, because without you guys, this doesn't happen. You guys made us the fastest growing sport on planet Earth. Thank you very much. I'm super, super excited about this event. I mean, look, we do this, we, we, we work our butts off all the time. These guys and girls work their butts off in the gym day in and day out and us in the office day in and day out so we figured look let's have a little fun with this thing and let's create the king of violence championship because we got two violent people right here we got mike perry and eddie alvarez with accolades that go way way down and way way back and they fought everybody that was put in front of them and they beat most of the people that they fought so we wanted to come up with the King of Violence Championship, and here is the official King of Violence belt. Yeah! Someone will take that home. Who is the most violent? Is it Mike Perry or Eddie Alvarez? We're going to find out on Saturday night. Yeah! I just wanted to say that, again, thank you to everybody. Thank you to all you guys. Um, hopefully everybody makes way tomorrow. I do have an unfortunate announcement to make, though, that um, our co-main event, um, Ben Rothwell, actually came down really, really sick this morning. He's not going to be able to compete. We tried to get a last-minute replacement for Todd Duffy, and we just couldn't uh, line it up. So we're going to push that fight to February. So I'm sorry to the fans for that one, but we still have um, a stacked card, an unbelievable main event, and really a lot to be excited about here in Salt Lake City. So thank you very much for everybody. Thanks to all the fighters. Thanks to all the fans. Can't wait to see you Saturday night. Go to BKFC.com for ticket information and all the viewing information. Perry, hey, Mike, this is uh, the third straight former MMA champion that you're fighting inside the BKFC squared circle. Um, would a win over Eddie be the, be the biggest one out of the three champions that you've fought so far? Uh, absolutely. It's the biggest fight of my career uh, regardless, and and he does have experience in BKFC. I think you learn a lot from your first one, so I'm excited to have a... F I want a fucking battle, dude, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sorry, boss, what I got to do to your Philly boy, man. All right, any other questions? We got another one right here. One more for you. One more. Uh, Eddie, you were crowned uh, most violent fighter in the, in the, on the planet in the past. This time, you're actually fighting for a strap for King of Violence. Does this one feel a little more special than the first time when you roll with uh, Justin Gaethje? Yeah, I always felt that title belonged to me, and I, I don't need a belt to, to prove it. You know, I, I've done it. I'm defending it against Mike Perry, and um, it'll be a successful defense. I, uh, I love this fight, man, and uh, it's a setup, Mike. You're being set up by the Philly guys. <laughs> Come on, your ass, bro. <laughs> All right, if anyone else has a question for anybody up there, just raise your hand up and I'll come right over to you with the mic. All right. Up. In the event of uh, one of you guys winning this belt, which I believe is going to be Mike Perry, will, will one of you guys defend the belt against the undisputed, undefeated, not no pound for pound number one bare knuckle boxer in the world? Me. Will one of you guys face me? I know you will. Well, you asking me a question? Guys, I, I just wanted to thank Luis Palomino. He flew really far to be here to watch his fight. So I respect all my fans who flies from so far away. So, um, but the, Luis, I, I'm being like dead honest with you. Your question should be to your promoter, not me. I'm not paying you to fight anyone. I'm paid a check and I fight the largest names that there is in front of me. If he pays you a check and he pays me the same thing I'm getting here, I'll fight you every day of the week, twice on Sunday. This shit, this shit ain't about opponents. I don't pick opponents. I fight for a check. You talk to your boss here. He writes the check and it's you next. I am a fan. I always will be a fan. All right? I do respect you and I respect what you don't respect. Respect you too, Lewis. All right? 
So, question for both Platinum and for the Underground King. Since the last press conference a few weeks ago, is there anything you've learned from your opponent that you've changed in training to do anything different for Saturday evening? Um, no, I mean, we were already on the path to fight Mike Perry and watch his tapes and watch his opponents and do what we had to do and made our decisions. I think I brought in heavier opponents, brought, built, brought in some really good heavyweights from Philadelphia. Some up and coming guys. We got Cody Russell and uh, Ali, Al, Ali Ellis, I believe, uh, five and zero heavyweight. So we, we brought in some bigger, bigger, heavier hitters to deal with that pace, deal with that push, and um, we're fucking ready, dude. Two days away, and I can't wait. Oh man, um, I just train like I always do, man. Whatever I've been doing, it's been working really well for me. So. Uh, I just stick to the game plan. We put in the work every day, and my boxing, my swagger, my platinumness is, I'm going to drown this motherfucker, bro. A question for Perry and Alvarez. The weight, is that going to be a factor for Eddie? Is it going to be a factor for you? Who's at the advantage here at this weight division? I'm actually curious. I, I'd, um... I still got some weight to cut. I'm pretty sure I'm going to blow up after I weigh in. I don't know how much Eddie's going to blow up. I don't know, because he was looking pretty fat last time. So I don't know how much weight he's going to put on once he weighs in at 75. OK. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have the advantage. We, uh, 175 was uh, what we kind of came to agreement. But these days, I, I was a 155, but these days I walk around at 200. I can't make 55 anymore. But I wanted to suck some water out of Mike's head, so when I hit it, he just falls over. So um, he wanted to be big. I know he wanted to be big, so I wanted to get some water out of him, get him down nice and low and, and, and lean and uh, not strong. So when I hit him, he falls. I have a question for Eddie Alvarez real quick. Hey, AJ. Bro, what do you think you're going to do, bro? Because you can't box. <laughs> You got dropped by a 45er like three times in the fight, and Chad Mendes didn't even want none. Chad, Chad's a better boxer than you, Mike. Like, much better. You're out of your mind, bro. He don't want to smoke, bro. You don't want to smoke, bro. You're going to quit. You're here for a paycheck. Much, much better boxer. That's why the belt's already sitting here next to me. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to happen for you. Like, you're here for a paycheck, which is crazy to me. I couldn't even think like that. Yeah, I, I, I think Mike thinks he can box. I don't know, like, I don't know what boxing gym you're going to or whatever. Everybody collectively seen the shit boxing you've been... Bruh, you've been everybody been don't know shit about fighting and boxing. Most people don't know shit about boxing. Exactly, you damn right. They don't know shit. Just because they watch on TV, you think they know something? No, they know... That's what, those are your fans. They no. think that you know how to box. But they know... But I know they, damn well I'll beat you and every single one of them. They know that you can't. They know that you can't. They know that now. They know that. Bro, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, bro. So bad, bro. I... Every, what are you going to do? Are you going to run? Are you going to come forward? Like, how are you going to escape this? Mike, you, you're you so... Mike, oh, my God. You got two days, motherfucker. You got two days. That's yeah. All. Two days. Mm -hmm. That's all you got. Enjoy, enjoy all this shit. You got two days. Uh, last one for the, the main event. Both of you guys just got a heated argument there. We're expecting violence. It's the king of violence, Bell. Give us a prediction on how violent we could expect this thing to get on Saturday and how it's going to end. Hey, hang on a stop. The ref's going to stop it for him. But hang on a stop. I, I, I don't plan on him quitting on his own accord. The ref going to stop it sure. for me, yeah. Someone's got to help you. I'm going to fuck him up so him. bad that the ref's going to save his life. Someone's going to help you. Someone's got to help you. I hope he saves you. Someone's got to help you from yourself, dog. So... You are helping me by being nice. here, by so being a I'm professional. I appreciate you. I really do. I'm gonna punch but I really don't see where you see any chance of victory here for yourself.